So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can turn your Anki cards from looking like this to looking like this. So this styling applies to both basic cards and closed cards. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go over and open your Anki. Go to your Anki browser and find a card which is a basic type. Now if you can't tell which card is basic or not, then you can just go ahead into the toolbar, right click and make sure the note option is selected which will show you what type your card is. So you want to click on a card which has a note type basic and then you want to click on the little button which says cards at the bottom. That will bring you a little pop-up window where on the left hand side it has your code for your styling information. Now if you go ahead and go down into the link in my description below, I've actually created the card templates that I use for my second cards to make your cards look like this. So essentially what you want to do is for the basic type, you want to go ahead into my Notion where I've provided the code, open the toggle that says basic uh, card type, copy everything that's in the front and paste it into that relevant section in your Anki. And you want to do the same thing for your styling. So just copy everything that's in my Notion where it says styling under basic card and then paste it, replace it with the um, Anki box. And do the same for the last box as well, which says back template. And once you've done that, you should get a little preview on the right hand side to show you what your cards will now look like. And then you want to click on close to make sure you apply those settings. Now, when you're doing this step and your card previews doesn't look exactly like the ones I've shown, for example, your tags might look a little bit messed up or different, then what you wanna do is you wanna download an add-on called Hierarchical Tags 2, which might fix that problem. And you're also gonna need these you know, other add-ons as well. So I've made a video on which add-ons I think are best to use. And so I'll link that up there if you're interested in watching that. And now you don't have to stick to the color theme that I used. For example, if you want to change your accents from blue to red or something else, then you can edit the code manually yourself. Now this does require a little bit of knowledge into you know, HTML and CSS. So you know, other people have made very good tutorials on HTML and CSS, so I'll link them down in the description below if you want to fine tune the settings yourself. And if you do want to do that, what I recommend is opening up that code in a text editor such as Atom and going through it and just changing the colors and changing bits here and there to, meet, to actually meet your needs. Now, if you're not interested in doing that and you're fine with the style that I've provided, then you don't need to make any changes. You just paste everything in, click close, and your styles will be applied. Just a quick addition because I forgot to mention in the video, I've also enabled night mode and to do that you just go into Anki preferences and check the box that says night mode. Now make sure you also do this for the close option. So you find another card which has the close card type, go on to your um, card settings again and then paste in the relevant options that I've provided on that Notion template. So I'll just go through a few cards to show you what this theme will look like. And as you can see, it went from going from very plain to actually having borders around your tags, borders around the front field and borders around the back field as well. You can add optional extras like shadows and change the colors and everything. But again, you need to modify the HTML and CSS yourself if you want to do that. Now, one important thing you have to do after this is actually make sure you sync your cards up to your Anki web. That way, if you're using Anki on your phone, when you download these settings onto your phone, it will automatically um, download them so that the styling looks good on your phone as well. So I'll show you an example of a few cards and what it looks like with the styling on my phone as well. So that's basically how you change the styling on your cards. If you like this video and you're new here, then my name is Abian. I'm a medical student studying in London. If you like this Anki video, then you might be interested in checking out another Anki video and the whole Anki series that I've made in medical school. I also do a, a weekly newsletter called Swift Sunday, which contains one idea, one paragraph, basically, one quote and my latest video. So if you're interested in checking that out, then make sure you sign up the link in the description below. With that being said, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you again in my next video.